All right, I've got to uh, cut a piece of wood just wide enough to up, go up against the wood on the base here already. And what I might do is just cut one that's just a little bit wider. What I have to do is mount the girl on that piece of wood and I've got to be able to uh, work on her separately so I need to make it wide enough that uh, I can do that. I gotta do it before it gets dark outside. That's where my saw is. Now I gotta take this down to the piece of wood that's underneath. So I've got a piece of wood that I can attach the uh, piece of wood to. <laughs> Boy, the wind was so powerful outside that it blew a wooden stool that was on one end of my back porch clear over to the other end of the back porch. It took the cover on my lawnmower and... Uh, I thought that it might have sent it right directly first class mail to uh, China <laughs> because it was nowhere to be found and I found it yesterday morning because the wind kept shifting its uh, direction so that the uh, cover eventually came back to where I could find it. It's got little travel stickers all over it, too, wherever it was. <laughs> okay, not a funny joke. i got to mark the length of this board. And, uh, let's mark that. I don't want to make the base too wide. Alright, let's go cut that sucker. Alright, got it cut. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on a separate board. Perfect. And what I'll do is I'll drill a couple of holes to uh, screw it into the base. And that just widens the base a little bit. Have I ever mentioned that it, it really pays to have a good saw? Uh, about a year ago, March, I was... Ow, ow got a sliver. Uh, I was moving from the house I was in to the house that I'm in now and uh, we had everything loaded on a truck the uh, radial arm saw was on a, uh, a stand and the wind was so strong that day it literally picked the saw up out of the back of the truck and blew it uh, across the road that's just a little, just a hair too thin, this board here. Hmm. Got to figure that out. Anyway, uh, it blew the, the, the saw right out of the bed of the truck, and we didn't know it. And we couldn't figure out what the hell happened to the saw between the... the uh, <laughs> old studio in the house here and it turns out that uh, Coop Taylor who's a uh, stuntman and a actor 
in Hollywood uh, lives out here and uh, his father Coop Taylor was a, a, an incredible uh, character actor and his uh, dad uh, Buck Taylor was newly on Gunsmoke and uh, it, it's kind of like a royal family of actors and Coop knows me and and he had found uh, this saw laying on the side of the road by the post office and he called me up after I posted on uh, Facebook that I was missing my saw and he says was that your saw and I said yeah and he says well I'll bring it over <laughs> he came, came over and brought the saw and just that's the nice thing about a small town uh, there ain't a lot of people here and uh, if something happens, somebody sees it happening. I'm going to put the C-clamp on it to hold it in place until I get it screwed down. Okay, I got that screwed down, or tightened down. All I need to do now is get uh, some screws and... screw it down good. I got all my screws in this little container here. Makes it really nice to uh, have all your screws separated. And there, that's a good one. Works pretty good. I it's got a little separation, but that's easy to fill, so it's going to work out. And I don't have to put any shims underneath it. Huh, that's weird. Anyway, All right, I'm going to drill a couple holes for the screws. Boom. Being that this is a cutting board, you don't want to. You don't want to screw down on a into a cutting board. It might split it. Now it's just a matter of cleaning up the uh, table. So that uh, I don't have any wayward pieces of sawdust going into the clay. Put my drill bits away. Okay. Ready to work on this side tomorrow, and uh, I'm gonna call it quits tonight because it just took uh, longer than I expected to make that little adjustment. So I had the extension for the uh, base. I think what I'm gonna do is while I got uh, while I'm sitting here, I'll just go ahead and put some clay on this. As you can see, I can just press clay down between the two boards and it fills in that gap nicely.
Well, that's a little lesson on constructing a, uh, a base. It's really easy. You just have to use ingenuity and some thought in how you're going to make it all work out. Now, I wasn't planning to put anybody next to the horse when I first sculpted the horse, but you got to be able to adapt to any changes you make in your sculpture and that's what I've done here. I've adapted. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.